Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 25th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Hope your Monday was as great as mine was. It flew by, kind of like this sunspot. So this is imagery over the last couple days. And let's look at the sun now, as that very active sunspot that was leaving shot off yet another CME. Luckily, not Earth-facing. But this was a very active sunspot. Just slowing it down here. It's electrifying. Wow. Our sun is so powerful. I want to thank everybody for joining today, watching my videos. I am truly blessed to have all of you as friends and as family. I want to thank you all so much for subscribing to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And please, share with your friends and family. Let's stay aware and prepared together and get ready for anything. I'm not saying that anything's coming, but I'm saying that a lot is happening and you may as well just be aware and prepared for these events. Because in the future, the space weather will be a big concern. Let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours. We had some largest earthquake here in Chile it was a 5.2. Some minor rumbles across the United States and Oklahoma, as well as Kansas. 2.6 Manhattan, Montana. But a lot of fours ringing off right up the western side of the Ring of Fire, leading to a lot of earthquakes in Alaska. A couple deep earthquakes here. Deepest earthquake, 504 kilometer depth. It's kind of a regular thing recently in Fiji. It's kind of a regular thing recently, too, all around the world. Had a rare earthquake in Kenya, 4.8. As well, 4.0 in Lithakia, Greece. But yeah, a lot of fours are ringing off on every plate. And it's a wee bit concerning when we get strange earthquakes like that in Kenya. Just looking at the last seven days, there's been a few rare earthquakes in Africa. So. Looking around on this map, the last seven days, you can see a lot of deep earthquakes on every plate. Some very deep ones in Fiji. And with all this movement on the Indian plate and in Africa, as well as the Atlantic plate, bound to get some kind of rebound here most likely in North America a lot of swarming in Dominica and Alaska we'll see what happens here stay aware and prepared have a plan we're going to go to the Pacific Disaster Center here showing a lot of avalanche warnings in the Kootenay and Banff area and Jasper National Park as well as uh, yeah down into Washington, Mount Hood in Oregon, as well as Mount Shasta and Montana, avalanche warnings. And that's due to the mass amounts that of snow that has fallen throughout last winter. We are in spring now, but it's uh, still feeling like winter here in Calgary. It's really up and down, but it's 11 degrees today. But look at these avalanche warnings straight down to Colorado, Wyoming. And we've got quite a system that is developing across the eastern, southeastern United States, again, bringing a lot of rain. And that's something they don't need as there are flooding conditions in now five states. Not being reported here in the Pacific Disaster Center. They're only showing one. We could see that. Huge supercell development. There were a couple tornado warnings last night.
couple notable things too are the volcanoes. A lot of action on the western side of the Ring of Fire recently. Chevalouche, an era in Japan, as well as the Tanger Caldera in Indonesia. We're going to get more into depth with that soon. Krakatoa as well, some action. And constantly Manam in Papua New Guinea. For tropical storms, Veronica is still alive, and Joanna is still a Category 3 heading south, straight south. And just the latest disaster alerts here. Mostly floods and not just North America. It is on every continent now. There are flood warnings. Every country is feeling the effects of the extreme weather around the world. Now, from one extreme to the other, it was 11 degrees today. And watching the temperatures here, they're going to quickly fall again to minus 3 by the end of the week. And yes, we're going to get about five centimeters of snow. A lot of forecasters here in Calgary are saying that uh, we're going to get rain, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be snow. Watching this system develop here, northwest of us. Now that high pressure ridge just north of us is cold. So that will be snow. So yeah, up to five centimeters of snow throughout tomorrow night and Wednesday in Calgary. But the cold temperatures, you can see here, they are back. It is definitely not spring-like temperatures all across North America, right up to Alaska. Still a high-pressure ridge. Pushing all these systems up north and then south again. Strange Pacific anomalies. Look at the size of this storm. And they're like one right after another, they're building. And that's able to go straight through the Barren Strait to the North Pole. Wherever the, our new North Pole is. But yeah, I mean, look at that. It's a perfect storm almost. I was watching the forecast on Windy. And it's supposed to be clipping at about 55 knots by next week. So that's over 110 miles per hour. And Cyclone Trevor is still bringing quite a bit of rain, but much needed in a very dry Australia. But it's kind of non-stop in the southeastern parts now. So watch for flash flooding conditions southeastern Australia in the next few days. And here is Joanna, Cyclone Joanna. Not to human threat at all. And as well, flooding conditions in Brazil as there was a large tropical depression that just kind of came out of nowhere yesterday and is set to just drop mass amounts of moisture all across the continent over the next four days watch for it to be non-stop and most likely panama and north of that will be seeing some flooding conditions and then we're going to get to ontario and quebec where they are nowhere near spring they're going to have blizzard like conditions later in the week as a very large low pressure system develops into a winter storm and with the winds we will have some blizzard-like conditions throughout northern Quebec. Watching that system, very tight isobars, strong winds. I want to thank everybody for watching today again. This is Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.